Poetry must be made by all. Lachrymont said it but failed to make Twitter so the world had to wait a bit. TPHD Rainbow Satan on Twitter. You know, you go onto the online web and you see this situation where everybody has their own Twitter, everybody has their own Facebook, everybody's creating content. If you're writing a status, you are a writer. And a lot of people tell me, Steve, don't effing encourage these people. You are diluting the art form. You are lowering poetry. God is dead. I say, um, baby girl, what the F are you talking about? Why is it bad that more people consider what they're doing poetry? Why is it bad that people are having fun writing something and considering the language as if it were poetry, even though it's a form that poetry usually hasn't taken in the past? Charles Bernstein said, Poetry is not important. Poetic thinking is very valuable, however. Every day, I add new friends. I comment them. I start flarfing lines out of the sidebar. Okay? I start punning on their name. I say, Josh Wangler, I'm wangling with you. Josh, I don't know what it is with this wangling thing you got me into. You know, and what they do most often? You know what they do? They join back in, so we have a good time posting back and forth, and it's a lot of fun, and we wouldn't be able to experience that with normal one-way publishing of literature. Oftentimes, later in the day, I'll go back to my wall on Facebook.com, you know, and I'll see they wall posted me again with some more flour, you know. They hit me back, you know. People get into this. People love this. This is fun. This is one of the, sometimes I'm on Facebook for over two hours just commenting my friends and I remember somebody, I'm like, ooh, that person I should comment, they're fun. And I go and comment them. Um, hello, this is what poetry needs, you know? This is what poetry needs in life, you know? Poetry doesn't need to be objectively better than it has been, you know? Poetry's already good for us, you know? Poetry already makes me effing happy every day of my life. Poetry already makes me more critical of my language than almost anybody else around me in the world. You know, found poetry has changed my life. Everything I see, I consider it as poetry. Everything I read, I consider the tone. I think, would I flarf that? You know, would I flarf it? Would you flarf it? That should be a hot question. That should be on everybody's minds, you know? You turn on the TV, you gotta be thinking, am I, should I flarf this guy? Flip my life, flip my life, flip my life, flip my life, flip my life! A chat between Jacob Steinberg and Alexander Gregory. At this height of winter, will Winter White come across as spring eagerness? And hence negatively? Question mark? Like, if I wear white pants with a blue shirt, springy, summery, I thought that was a poem. Right after I enter the room, hit me with a baseball bat! Lifestyle! You know, why would you have poetry only in a printed book now? That's like releasing a movie on a goddamn VHS! I do respect it in a retro way. I'm taking the elevator down from my business building. I get out, I walk out two steps, all of a sudden, you push out a skateboard. I slip on it, I break my back. I want you to email me with your questions and queries and I'll send you back an email. You know, just hit me with a tweet and see what happens. I'll tweet you effing back. You ever try commenting my photo? Comment my photo on Facebook. Life, it's great. We break up life in many categories, such as poetry, food, Ultimately, there's one category, it's experience. John Cage said, Art has obscured the difference between art and life. Now let life obscure the difference between life and art.